force a play. And I mean, there's no flash on Feather, and there's no flash on One XN as well from that earlier trade. Mm -hmm. They can definitely force it. It's all yeah. point and click. We didn't see it uh, all unfold, but there you go. It unfolds nonetheless. The first kill going over. A return here. Oh, you cow! Making it out in the mid lane, a 2v1 going a little bit away. Hey, 1xN is not joining this. So FPX, they are committing hard to this. Oh. TT need to get the grubs and get out. They realize what has come, and that's going to be multi CC knockups there. Nice little AoE damage with the bait sealed Whoa. though by TT. And guess who's pulling them up by their bootstraps? It's Yukal on the Yone. Finally, Dokdom arrives here. This has been a 4v4 turning now into an overhanded fight by TT, but they get evened out by Feather getting caught out. Flash from Hoya gets the flash from Care. In return, Hoya's gonna CC down Doctum, but Doctum has gotten two kills now, and this Ezreal is starting to light him up as that Grubby goes over to TT. That'll be a two-for-one Grub trade over in favor of TT, but they might lose their life. Here comes that Arcade, and here comes Doctum as Yukal try to take him out, get the retrade kill in the big one because that's a shutdown back onto Doctum. And Bad. but again I feel like this is preamble to try and get onto that dragon as TT as uh hello play this coming in top side. The shot call and the play moves that we see and Milky Way takes advantage of the Weaver's wall to come claim a kill on top side. Yeah, good read from Milky Way. No, they're not gonna really take the dragon. Infernal, so you won't see a hex or an infernal salt. And we'll see what that means as one x <laughs> No! Whoa, wow! Instantly flashing, though. That was really good reflexes. Wow. Bait Seal going to be used in mid lane. The knockup is there. Stranglethorn's on top of it all, but Yukal had sacrificed his life for it. Bait Chuan just has to watch as his mid laner burns. Uh, it can't. It's too, dis it's too dismantled, bro. They have so many options, but they just can't find the angle here. The, the four. All things considered, the out. This is a bit of a, a bit of a heist. For TT <laughs> to get this dragon, but uh, FPX, I think they're handshaking it, and they're pretty happy to. This whole top tower will go over to Kit, even if he doesn't quite get it down. The grubs will certainly finish the job, but he does. And now this Corky is huge. I don't want to say holy uh, immobile targets, but obviously Milky Way is one. Care has Valkyrie, but it's not always your get out of jail free card. There's you cow. <laughs> Gets chunked low, and again, FPX, they're just oh, moving so numbers around. You need to be a little bit careful. Both teams come away. Yep, both teams come away. TT will get a tower, so a little bit of gold reprieve, right? But in the grand scheme of things, a tier 1, 21 minutes into the game, it's not a lot to write home about. But um, he'll pick up this dragon, though, and it will stop that coming out of base with Feather. I mean, it's bold, crack, bro. but... Get over there! <laughs> I'm just saying... He's trying to get into the corner there, but they have some body blocking available. 1XN is over the wall here. They might lose some bodies for this Baron. They're going to take the engage, maybe just giving over Shalahu's life. Whoa. 1XN gets one kill there, but it's going to be a lot of purple capes for FPX. Your Baron time over, if I'm being real. Let's see what they want, though. Milky Way's on the wave. He knows He knows where his bread is, but you got to get the mid prior first. Maybe they want the fight after the fact. Oh, Slow oh, chase down. Shot, maybe. I mean, either way, Mazel, they're in a good position now. Oh, they yeah. can just get the beeline into uh, this mid-tier two. And they're just rubbing their hands together and saying God. thanks. Like, we don't care about this dragon. Oh, Take the destruction for our troubles. are so long. It feels like every second oh, dragging man. on as your base crumbles. Oh, my goodness. They just lose two turns. They lose the inhib in mid two. They're going to lose lives as well. Oh, yeah. You've turned dominant. But again, you are put in your place time and time again. And Doc Dom stepping up to get this in. That is lasting damage. Uh, base might be made out of those papers that the little pig made his house out of. I don't know. Uh, it, it's getting blown down right now pretty heavily. And that wolf might look like a phoenix. As the bot lane turret is falling here now. It is one last engage from FPS that could just be the death knell of TT. They'll find Feather and Solar Flare back. There's the combo. There's the Fate Seal. There's Yukal trying to make it happen. But 1XN stepping up now. 1XN making Lightning Strike twice. It's him versus Doctum. But Doctum's so big. Can Doctum get the damage off here? Doctum is still kiting away. He's locked down. He cleanses, but he can't get away from the big croc. He arcane shifts over the wall. Hoya, a hungry predator, wants to chase him down, but can't get the distance there. He does have the speed up. Uh -oh. He might actually have it, but he's getting kite to being something a little bit embarrassing. For Hoya on that kite back. Duck Thumb didn't want to commit 
for some kind of flashy play though knows he's got a 300 gold bounty and as i bold, say it my friend he gets the kill anyways though with the help of nobody because it was a solo kill the care has tp'd over oh, from the no. side and you think you'd be watching oh, some Mazzell. fighting here some wrestling as they're going to be taking him out one by one. Beichwa just has to watch his multiple members go down for TT. And that snowball is coming straight for the base as FPX roll so, onward. They've got minions in the oh mid lane. My Feather. God. He's gone. What Three happened? people are dead. This entire game has just fallen off the wheels in the last minute. Ooh, all right. That Zyra ult's going to save him some time. They still nah. lose a, a Nexus Tower. The minions, they're on their way. It's 10 seconds till Yukal. They're not leaving. They're getting the bot on Inhib just to make sure. On the off chance they fail this base at a game end attempt. They'll have that for themselves. Here's Yukal. Crash. TT realized this defense might just mean the difference in their next round. They need to win all of these games here against FPX. FPX definitely know yeah, that they are yeah. clarified. Um, there's not much clarity needed here, though. FPX absolutely dominating this game number one of this best of three. Now, it was a lot of sides in further games. And FPX still have a lot of flexibility in the picks they have available to them. Feather going for a last Ooh. ditch engage. Misses it all and can't be really followed up on Hoya. Trying to find a flank, but has to just walk from the front. And Shala, who has found Yukal over on the side. We have double Q3s ready to rock, but who's going to let theirs leash first? It was Yukal missing his there, but FPX feeling a little bit dicey on that top lane. Uh, the eye, what's the eye of Agamotto there's one, telling there's, you? There's, there's one shot. There's one chance at 14 million, and it's somehow FPX don't end this Don't game. lose the game Before, well, right now. Oh, no. Okay, okay. They're good. They're good. They're good. All right. Sorry, keep going. Uh, FPX don't change. end the game. They don't end the game in six minutes time. Elder comes up. Okay. Watch it with me now. Beitron gets the steal. All right, yeah. uh, short enough here. Unless you can get big catch. Oh, a little bit. Okay, they're not going to follow it up. It was just a, a fake catch trying to get the flashes out, but uh, end up not being able to. Yukal might look for an angle there. Ooh. Ends up getting Milky Way's ire underneath it all. Feather wants it. Trying to step up, but can't find the angle there. Solar Flare goes in. Milky Way locked down. Yukau needs the big angle. Yukau getting locked oh. down immediately, though. He's out of there. They get one back, but I don't think it's enough. FPX throwing their money around here. You've got the double knock. No, it's going to be buffered out of by 1XN. 1XN is popping off right now. He just can't get locked down. He's locked down from hell. And now Hoya with a triple kill stands as the only member to stave TT off from darkness. Dark Dumb has been the shining light this entire game by FPX. And he'll slam that door shut and shove TT into the darkness here as a 1-0 lead crests for the Phoenix. One more game to put themselves up. series fpx came out with a strong start they have a very strong draft here on the red side we'll see if tt can put up or shut up here as we get into game number two we're already getting to level one again and hoya burns his flash but this time it's not just a flash that's going down it's about to be first blood two and it goes over to life all right but big thing here that wave there they they've kept a crash the whole time but they don't want anything aggressive going on Speaking of crash waves. Ooh, try to punish the Scorpion man here. The Ixtal's impact gets stopped and he's easily carved up. Shalau, who is going to make it out alive too? And a beautiful dive executed for his second kill to FPX. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, to go for these kinds of trades, but it's just the way the, the map was leaning for both junglers. They're taking advantage of the pacing of the game. They also have priority down here in bot side. And also yeah, base one. try and hover for this at the very least, right? Otherwise, the bot lane just instantly dies. Now they know they don't have any support coming because he's being stopped. But Feather oh. tanking the turret. Oh, gets carved up into some ground beef, and that's a barbecue in my head. You know, the splash on the back end of the skill shot has come out of the picture in picture. One extend doesn't cleanse have flash, flash. and yeah. Duck Dom doesn't have cleanse. So I won't oh, have to. Oh, Feather, oh. he missed the combo. Oh, uh -oh. no, things are falling apart here, TT. What is getting going all the on? combos used on him, and now Feather just getting low. One more auto. 
Oh, it's Milky Way that ends up cleaving. I was going to say, is life going to take another one there? But uh, Milky Way ends up getting a fourth kill for FPX. kind of out of their hands after this, even if they 2-0 here. But it's been really nice to see the flexibility of Milky Way. He was playing Talia. Now he's flashing in for kills on the Lilia. And he is the engine right now that is running this game, too, of FPX. Follow up on their first. Get a second dragon for themselves. FPX moving in, though. Milky Way is going to try to get the follow-up here. Feather might just sacrifice his life. Valkyrie out means Yukal has an escape. And Feather is just going to be beef for the taking. But it's Taylor Instinct that brings Doctum into the fight. Pyroclasm doing some work, but it might not be enough. The slowdown is King and Fate Swan gets pounced on by Milky Way. And that's a double kill coming across for him. Care is going to try to chase down Yukal. Culling into the back is not going to be enough. FPX, but the Rift Herald will actually be given to TT, so they're starting to use their pressure a little bit better. All right, I like this. It's a good answer. And again, this is what we need to see from TT, some creativity and stopping some FPX plays. And uh, as I say that, speaking of creativity, dun, dun. this is something dun, that realistically dun. Hoya is not expecting. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 Oh my god, they threw everything at him, dude. Oh. He goes through the wall. Is he going to be able to stop double impale? He can't move. They're under turret now. It's not enough. The turret's so low, but it's doing so much work. It's finally going to get taken down. He's also taking down on top of it. And Yukal, all those... It's going to be nice gold for him. Beichuan, nice gold to get him back in the game. But FPX, they're just so strong at this stage in the game can move forward this dragon a little low but Ooh. tt a lot healthier health bars to move in here and beituan doesn't have much mana but might have enough damage they're gonna push in tp coming in from fpx it's a little bit difficult they're gonna try to burn the dragon here this is third dragon for tt so salt point acquired now they gotta get out oh, it's so they've got a Brazil. big croc on the other side yeah, but FPX. they'll try and make that fight happen but not willing to it's good discipline they just acknowledge if they lose out multiple members here if Milky Way of double bot, that's just hmm. me though. I think it does delay some of your other stronger core items as uh, oh, no. He can't even get out. He's going to try to slice and dice his way, but he gets impaled right on the stinger of Hoya to set up for him to the Muramana. Exactly. A lot of things going on now. Beichuan without that flash. Very vulnerable to a play, but Milky Way is so awkward. big. They're in such an awkward choke. Yeah, Life will take advantage of that every time. TT are completely split. Life goes in, gives his life, but he might just be a martyr that FPX were looking for. The Phoenix is trying to rise from the ashes, but TT are snuffing him out one by one. Care goes in for his own play. Milky Way with all that gold. It's about to be shut down straight over, and a triple kill goes to Beichuan. Hoya and Yukal stand strong, and TT claim the soul. It makes you worry for FPX. And I think it's oh. right to worry, Beichuan. Beichuan overstepped. Now he has to go golden, but he popped that Pyroclasm there, so he's going to get a lot of damage back for us. Shalahu burning. They do end he's up getting die. him in the end as well, so it will be the trade one for one, but that's your jungler down. I love that instant decision-making right by now FPX. as TT is just hard burning the Baron. The TP on the backside will be Shalahu joining. Instant Dominus pop, but the Baron's already going down. Here comes the Croc. In the pit they go, though. Who's going to get the smite? It's taken by Milky Way. The hopes and the dreams of FPX rock on this star and they're riding sky high into space as a triple kill comes through for Doc Dumb. It's all TT's hopes and dreams shattered by the presence of Milky Way. TT hedged everything on that Baron plate and FPX in seconds. Crush that dream for TT. Baron in tow. They lost two members, and it's only the support on top like they care. The carries have the Baron. They get tier two top. They get two towers mid. It's a huge, huge and gold T swing. T backs against the wall. FPX looking for a 2-0 here. And then hoping for the best of the next series. With that Pyroclasm, big. the calling comes out. That vision game is pretty strong. Shalahu waiting on the flank here. Milky Way trying to get some poke in. Can't get a big lilting lullaby just yet. Engage goes in, but Shalahu is there. And FPX, they got four deer drive here. Can they make it happen? Feathers getting a little low. Look at 1XN. He's popping heads. Killer Instinct comes back from Dr. Elder Dragon secured by TT. And they wipe 
the floor with FPX. They had a 10K lead, Jamada, and they lose it just like that. Karen's going to get chased down here by UCAL, but it might not just be enough. He's going to cleanse. He's going to run. One more auto attack. The burn's not enough. The rocket's not going to connect. I think always up still. I think it was still on cooldown. That or he just didn't have a good opportunity to use it one or the other. Either way. It has been really fun to watch these two guys work against each other. Now it all comes down to a couple executed points and maybe an engage by TT. They're using the X-Tiles impact by Hoya to get life back. That solar flare does a lot to separate back the fight, but the burn for Feather is enough to get the kill. And now FPX down a member need to try to pull back. I don't think, no, well, no, now no. they'll know because he steps up. Ooh. Another Swirl Seed connects a little lullaby onto them all. Shala who wants the death now there, but he can't get it. He's going to death twist all over him. Can he get it? He's not going to have the damage just yet, but Milky Way will follow him up. Now TT trying to fight tooth and nail, but they can't do it. Milky Way, he goes golden. And the burning health bars of TT by 1XN's last stand will not be enough. And FPX's star finds another triple, and he'll try to well slingshot. Onto Yukao, and I think it was Beijuan. for it. And they've got this game, and they've got six scrubs. They've got a wave, and no one's alive for 15 seconds. FPX should be taking the series 2-0. Moving to 3-3, three and, three, and then waiting for EDG and this JDG series to play out. They needed a 2-0, and now they are the biggest Edward Gaming haters of all time. They're trying to make their push into the Ascend group for the next round, and FPX will claim a 2-0 over TT. My, oh my.